Hey guys, this is Keith Baker from Dusty Attic Studio. And what I'm going to start doing here is a series of little short videos called Studio One Quick Tips. A lot of little things that uh, people run into and they can use some help with. Um, today I am going to do transforming instrument tracks to audio. We get a lot of questions about this one. Uh, problem is, is when you have a bunch of instrument tracks, uh, whether it's uh, keyboards or synths, or in this case, I'm going to be using a um, mini track of drums with the MT Powered Drummer, which is free. Uh, but when you start stacking all these up, you start to see your CP usage start to spike. So transforming these instrument tracks over to um, audio frees up a whole lot of resources. It's going to get rid of those pops and clicks and all that stuff that everybody talks about that they hate so much. Well, here's what we're going to do. Let me play a little bit, a little bit of this so you can hear what it is. Like I said, it's just a uh, MIDI drums. Pretty simple, right? Nothing special. Cool groove. I'm going to open this up and I am going to put some treatment on it. I'll just use some, let's use the, let's use the S1. I can use a drum group. I'll just throw this one on here. Mix tool, gate, compressor, pro EQ, and I'll let you hear the difference here. It probably sounded better by itself. Uh, but really, this is just to show you how all this works. So you have your track here. You got your instrument track, and you are going to convert it over to audio. So you simply right-click the track over here. Come on down here and transform to audio track. This window is going to pop up. It's going to give you some options here. Uh, you can render the inserts. Uh, which I don't recommend because then you're stuck with them. Um, preserve instrument track state. That's an important one. And I'm going to show you why in just a second. And of course you want to remove the instrument. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Yeah, sorry about the whole clipping thing there. I didn't actually have the level set. I'm just demonstra demonstrating how this works. So anyway, now you can see, let me zoom in, your instrument track has now become a stereo waveform. And then you're going to see your CP usage drop dramatically. I'll let you hear it. Still sounds the same. Um, cool thing was it's it kept my um, treatment here, which I'm going to turn off just because it sounded like crap. <laughs> All right, let's take a listen. Sounds exactly the same as it did before. Anyway, as you can hear, it sounds exactly as it did before. Cool thing is, is you can still see all these MIDI note, notes in here. Uh, the reason for this is because we kept the state of the instrument track. It's a waveform, but it still has the MIDI built into it. The cool thing with this is, if you ever make a mistake, even if it's a couple days down the road and you got your song all done, and you're like, oh, wow, I wish I did something different on that. Yeah, you can always redo it. Or you can come back anytime, right click this, and then transform it to instrument track, and it'll go back to a MIDI track. This is what's cool. Then you can make whatever changes you want, and then you can turn it back into an audio file. So watch this. 
boom, back to a MIDI. Go in there and fix whatever it is, and then transform it back to audio. It's as simple as that. Real cool feature that they put in Studio One. Now, there are other ways you can do it. I mean, you can just select and select the track except itself, the event, and right-click it uh, and bounce it, or you can use uh, Control B. Problem with that is it doesn't doesn't save the estate of the instrument track, and you get on down a couple of days down the road, and you're like, oh, well now you're, um, yeah, I'm gonna say it, you're shit out of luck. <laughs> then you have to redo the track. Anyway, some other little information about uh, about mini tracks. Um, they can be cut up and moved around. You can take your knife tool and cut around. Uh, you know, if you ever need to move a section out or delete it or whatever the case may be and then move it down, uh, whatever you might have. I'm going to hit control Z and put this back. Um, or you can come in, you can actually punch in over top of MIDI. So, and then it'll look something like this. Uh, once that's done, I would recommend selecting the whole event. And then uh, come right click it and then come to merge events. And then you got your one solid piece of MIDI again. Anyway, I'm going to cut this off since I have a habit of making marathon videos. <laughs> um, I hope this information helps and uh, send any information. You know, so if you have any questions, you can write them below. Uh, I'll have a link to my website, Dusty Attic Studio, where you can reach me through there. You can also reach me on the Studio One. Uh, Facebook groups, uh, Studio One, uh, Persona Studio One Facebook group, or the Studio One Sessions group. I'm going to have links for all that below. Uh, if you want to know about something, just shoot me a message, and uh, I'll throw it together for you. Anyway, talk to you guys later. Have a good one. <laughs>